welcome back to the channel everyone and today we'll be doing our first game announcement review trailer <laughs> i normally stick to just like comedy skits and um nerd core type stuff and sometimes like uh um video game let's plays and a couple of times we'll uh look at tech like uh the new uh sora ai and how that might destroy um <laughs> youtube shorts and whatnot but yeah let's take a look at a uh Video game announcement trailer I was told to check out. It looks like another, like, kind of standard, um, from what I can tell, is uh, Kingmaker. So it's probably like, yeah, okay, it looks like another medieval game. How is this going to be any different than all the other medieval games? Sure, there's a lot of enemies and stuff on screen. That's cool. But I this is assuming you have a high-end computer. You probably won't be able to see this uh, level of detail on, you know, a mid-range system. We don't know where he came from. But I'll tell you, he built our village into a city. Okay, cool. So you can do, like, uh, custom buildings and things like that. Oh, okay, so you kind of start off as a small village, and then you build up around this giant city over time. That's pretty cool. Okay, so you'll be able to make maybe custom pathways and things. I assume you control the army and things like that. He's the one who trained our army. Right. Who grew us into an empire. I don't know where he's from. Okay, so this kind of feels like um, Blade Storm. Uh, oh, you know what? Uh, Kingdom Under Fire One, not the not the weird Three Crusade or whatever. You know where you can control whole sections of your army. Kind of feels like that. Um, but if you think you can stop him, you're already dead. What the heck is that sound? It sounds like a car. It is this is this like some Back to the Future nonsense? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Where have games like this been the last five years? We haven't had, we've had like, you know, nonsense after nonsense uh, when it comes to like uh, live service type games. Uh, even with uh, Ubisoft's or Ubisoft's uh, dumb announcement where they were uh, the first quadruple A game, uh, Skull and Bones game just like wrecked on reviews and then... <laughs> Simple concepts, fantastic to do. <laughs> Guy in a time traveling truck comes to the mid uh, Middle Ages and just wreaks havoc all across the world. <laughs> wow. Okay, the fact that you can probably like run up this entire castle and it's not just a stationary object is ridiculously well done. I wonder if you can go in every building. Wow. <laughs> A grenade? <laughs> All right. <laughs> the ability to snipe the general or whoever's the main lead on the battlefield from here. And the fact that you can probably use all this, you probably build this all up by custom from what I can tell from the, how the game works. You basically build up an entire keep around a town you build. So that's probably the biggest thing here that I can see, which is going to be interesting. So you can make this into like a, a basically a giant maze to the top. Grenade launcher. Jeez. Ooh. That's a nice uh, little touch there. You know, he's not using any uh, medieval weapons. He's literally just, oh, well, shooting someone in the face with a shotgun, but then switching to the butt again and whacking them in the face with that. <laughs> okay, cool. So you can actually control your um, troops on the battlefield. So it's not just you on the battlefield. So that's actually a nice little touch. Actually, that's a big touch because that's going to make the game a lot more uh, strategic for a lot of people. Now, a lot of people might not like that. Maybe there's going to be an option that controls your uh, troops automatically that would help for people who, who just want to run across the battlefield kind of like um there's an old game on the uh, i was gonna say 360 on the original xbox called armed and dangerous that kind of plays a lot like this <laughs> yeah you can go fully go off the keep in every way it's basically like build uh, building a, a giant maze to the top it's gonna be great Okay, so it's not just one guy who's able to come back in time and do this. He's apparently able to call in attack helicopters. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> he gave our people a future. I hope he can save his own. Wait a second. So he can jump between multiple time periods? Interesting. Are those all skulls? <laughs> all right. Oh, you know, this also kind of reminds me of, um, there was an RPG, which unfortunately I don't remember the name of, but basically you could play as like medieval characters, futuristic characters, um, or kind of like in between magic users. And it was just a huge RPG. So it was like three separate factions um, trying to vie for power. And for whatever reason, the uh, futuristic kind of character that had all the railgun technology and stuff could not go up against the uh, the medieval characters as easily because of magic. <laughs> it was just kind of this crazy, like, weird game. I wish I remembered the name of it. It was like, I think it was like Elex or something like that, or Elec. Yeah, uh, that that actually looks like a fun game. <laughs> uh, all right. Hmm. We're going to have to check out this video, too, The Little Devil Inside. Uh it looks like a sheep with like a, a machine gun. <laughs> so yeah, go uh, go put King List or what's this called? Uh, King King Makers on your uh, wish list. Oh God, Asmund Gold reacted to it. I bet you that was entertaining. <laughs> I bet she goes on to like a five minute video clip just about that truck. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, that was great. Uh, <laughs> see you later, I guess. Ha, ha, ha.